It is officially June, which is also the start of Scoliosis Awareness Month, a time to understand the impact of it and how to get help. If you're looking for treatment, Illinois Bone and Joint Institute can help. I spoke with orthopedic surgeon Christopher J. Bergen to learn the importance of early detection. My name is Dr. Christopher Bergen. I'm an orthopedic spinal surgeon. So scoliosis is what we call lateral curvature of the spine. So uh, what I mean by that is if you're looking at the back of somebody, you're going to see a straight spine. So in someone with scoliosis, you're going to see a deviation or a curve out to the side or laterally. How does someone know if they have scoliosis? So um, a couple things. One is um, with annual visits to your physician. So in, in terms of uh, children, it's going to be their pediatrician who's going to do a yearly exam and is going to look at their spine. Uh, and if you see any curvature, uh, then that is reason for referral to someone like me. It is something that can be found early uh, just by physical exam. And sometimes there are some secondary things that will clue you down scoliosis. Shoulders may be unlevel, pelvis may be unlevel, there can be leg length discrepancies, things like that. But in general, scoliosis is something that um, is with you for the rest of your life. All right, hold nice and still, Zeke, okay? First step may be finding a specialist um, who has experience in scoliosis. So from my standpoint, it's an orthopedic surgeon, so an orthopedic spinal surgeon with particular uh, training in scoliosis, or it can be a pediatric orthopedic surgeon. So can you get your arms straight out to the side? Awesome. Have you treated a lot of young patients with scoliosis? I have, yes. What causes it? There's quite a number of causes of scoliosis, and so broadly we categorize them as congenital, meaning you're born with it, and so some people can be born with half of a vertebra, um, or vertebrae that are connected, and those can cause scoliosis at a young age. Um, there are other causes, such as many syndromes can be associated with scoliosis. Uh, most commonly what we're seeing is what we call idiopathic scoliosis, and that's the most common form of scoliosis. And idiopathic is a Greek word which basically means we don't know where it comes from. This tickles, okay? See? And see how your big toe went up? Same thing over here. Tickle. Okay. That's all good. If we're talking about a child, scoliosis gets worse when they're growing. And so it can get worse rapidly during growth spurts. So if you have a scoliosis at a young age, when you have a tremendous amount of growth left, those curves, those scoliosis curves can get quite large and they can compromise lung and heart when it gets very large. The most important thing is to make sure that the children have their yearly visits with their pediatrician. So basically what we do is we get them in a gown and we take a look at their back and we take a look at their shoulders, we look at their pelvis and make sure everything's level and straight. Uh, we get their arms out to the side, then out in front of them. And we have them bend forward, and we can see the, uh, the normal curvature front to back in their spine called kyphosis, and we can see any lateral curvature. The most common surgery we do for scoliosis is called a posterior spinal fusion with instrumentation. So we make an incision along the portion of the spine we're going to fuse. Uh, and we're gonna put screws into each of those vertebrae and then some rods that connect them and straighten them out, kind of like rebar. Grab those phones and scan the QR code on your screen to learn more about Illinois Bone and Joint Institute. You can also visit ibji.com to make an appointment today.